let us start with um, alpha hydroxy acids. Alpha hydroxy acids, there are three main type, okay? There are from smallest to biggest, glycolic, all right, lactic, and then mandelic acid. And these three acids are all alpha hydroxy acids. They're all water soluble. They're all great for dry or aging skin. They are gonna make you sensitive to the sun. So just be a little bit careful and you have to be make sure that you're wearing sunscreen on the morning after that you use the glycolic or the lactic or the mandelic acid for up to a week. But that being said, you should be using sunscreen every day. And if you're not, then I don't know why you're following me and watching my channel. Okay, um, so definitely, definitely make sure you're wearing sunscreen. And the other thing about these alpha hydroxy acids are that they're great humectants. So that means that they draw in moisture and water and make your skin feel dewier and plumper. All right, starting with um, glycolic. Glycolic is my personal favorite. I love it because I feel like after I use it, it gives my skin this kind of like shrimp wrap, uh, shrimp wrap shrimp wrap shrink wrap effect sorry the covid's getting to my brain i'm a little bit tired but um it gives a shrink wrap effect and you feel like your face looks nice and firm um it is the best one for aging it is a great one for increasing cell turnover so your skin allows itself to regenerate to produce more collagen etc it does support the dermis so the deeper layer of that layer cake so that deeper layer gets a little bit plumper over time and um because it is the smallest, it is the most potent and goes the deepest. So I love glycolic acid. It is probably my favorite acid, to be honest with you. Um, and my top ones that I actually really like to use are a very simple one by L'Oreal, the 10% Revitalift glycolic acid. I think this one retails for, the one ounce retails for around 24 bucks. I wanna show you guys this because look at, the play time on that it literally goes like all over it's still going um and it feels a little bit a tiny bit tacky a little bit chewy but it's a beautiful acid that once it dries off and it dries off pretty quick you can continue with your skincare routine also i will say acids i use at night after i take off my makeup and i wash my face to give a fresh foundation for the rest of the stuff that i want to use so this is glycolic acid i really like this one it's a great price point another one that a lot of people love is um these are these dennis gross peel pads um i think that they're good they're expensive these are 88 bucks for a month supply because they're daily peel pads which i might think is a little overkill only because he combines glycolic with six other ones so lactic salicylic mandelic too many acids it's like seven acids so every day doing this might be a little overkill i would say maybe once a week all right um and it's a lot of wastage there's the wrapper there's the towelettes inside there's two steps because of the salad it's just a lot so i would just be a little bit you know i would keep these and just use them longer term so like a 30-day supply would last me almost a year okay so 88 bucks and i guess it's pretty cheap if it's lasting you a year so that's glycolic acid lactic acid lactic is derived from milk it is the middle sized one of all the alpha hydroxy acids and it is one that works more superficially it has less side effects because it doesn't go as deep as glycolic and i would say it helps mostly with brightening so when i was pregnant i had a lot of pigmentation i've been working a lot on it i've been doing using a lot of hydroquinone which one day we'll get into um but i was using a lot of lactic acid and one of my favorite ones is this one by sunday riley it's called good genes my hand is going to be smooth as a baby's bottom so maybe i should i should have a box of kleenex here but it is a little creamier in its appearance and they say use one to two pumps on clean skin and leave on treatment allowing it to dry so it's a little bit of a moisturizing ish um, acid um, it's definitely a humectant so it's definitely going to plump up the skin and make the skin appear dewier you know i should probably just use it here always work on the neck so that is lactic acid it's expensive this one is 122 dollars um i need to find better price points for cheaper lactic acids depending on their formulation and how i like them so i will work on that for you guys we'll do a drugstore brand lactic acid but if you're pregnant honestly this will last you your whole pregnancy so nine months just one pump i don't rec i don't agree with one to two pumps like why the second pump just use one it's more than enough 
unless you have a massive head. Um, but yeah, I think that's enough. All right, so that one is that. Kate Somerville has one as well. Where is it? Where is my Kate Somerville? Did I throw it on the floor? Oh, here it is. All right, exfoliate. This one is lactic and sal acid. It's a combo. It is also a scrub. So this one is interesting only because it does melt into your face um, and you leave it on. People love it. I haven't really used it all that much, to be honest with you. I bought it to see what it was about. I'm a little bit still in the gray zone about the scrub aspect of it, but it's one by Kate Somerville. Um, it's green. It's interesting looking. And although I have to wash it off, that's what it looks like. And you don't feel the scrubs in this. The reason I'm not so opposed to it is because it's extremely, extremely fine. And I think if you shower, when I used it that one time, I didn't end up feeling the scrub beads so much at all. So it didn't really bother me all that much. But this is Kate Somerville. So that's one with lactic acid and salicylic acid. And then finally, the biggest alpha hydroxy acid molecule is mandelic acid. And this one is also fat soluble. So although it works with water, like I said, like all alpha hydroxy acids, this one also works with fat. And so that means if you have acne and you are dry, um, if you have acne um, and you also want anti-aging benefits or if you're extremely oily, forget about acne, but you're oily and you want anti-aging benefits, I would go for something with mandelic acid. Um, I ordered one from um, Allies of Skin to see what theirs was about and that one is $92, but I did not receive it sadly. Um, and then, yeah, that was the one I was going to actually show you guys with the mandelic acid. I don't think I have anything else with me today. Um, I will say that if you also are prone to getting post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, it's a good one, which leads me to the topic of exfoliating and darker skin types. I don't know where you guys heard that you cannot exfoliate with an acid if you have darker skin. Um, absolutely you can, but if you're using an alpha hydroxy acid, so glycolic, lactic, or mandelic, definitely make sure you're wearing sunscreen. It doesn't matter if you are as pale as a ghost or as dark as the night, um, you wear a sunscreen all right because sunscreen is going to help protect your skin so you don't get any post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or anything darker residually after using the acid um so those are alpha hydroxy acids in a nutshell